Next, we're going to want to import our, um, our drawing file. And the way that we need to do that is through the file structure of the Lightboard. To access the file structure of the Lightboard, you'll see this little up triangle that is here at the bottom. And if I click on that up triangle, it will open an area called the browser. And in the browser is where we're able to manipulate files, exit our software, um, and, and a lot of other tasks that we may need to do. So where we want to go is into this file caret. And if I click the little side caret here, it will expand that option. As I go down the list here, at the very bottom, it says import. And I'm going to want to open that caret. There are uh, a half dozen or eight um, options under import and as you go near the bottom you will see augment 3D from Vectorworks. We're going to want to open that caret. At this point we are now searching for the file that we had saved from Vectorworks. These are all the folders that are on my computer, the storage places and I know that I had saved my file directly onto my desktop and if I open that caret I am now looking at all of the folders that are on my desktop and if I scroll all the way to the bottom there are a list of loose right they're not in a folder um, my A3D and here is my light lab drafting class A3D folder or file that I had saved. If you had put yours in a folder, it's going to be up here in these folders somewhere. Mine was just directly onto my desktop. So I'm going to double click, right? And I come up with this option here. Do you really want to import the items into your show? Before we import them, we have to do some assignments. We have to actually map the devices. I have to link what the symbol was in our um, drawing file to actually what the fixture is going to be in our light board. And we do that by mapping devices. And I'll just click here, map devices, right? So this is great. So now what we have is a list of our source files. These are the files that came from our um, uh, Vectorworks drawing. And what we need to do then is map them. And the way that we do that is I'll start with my source for zo uh, Junior Zoom. Now, that fixture doesn't need any information other than to tell it that it's a dimmer. So I'm going to scroll down this list, and I, I just happen to know this, but where we need to go to is generic. And this is an alphabetical list of all the lighting manufacturers that make lighting equipment. But where I'm on my way to is something called generic. And right here is my generic manufacturer. And again, if I open that little side arrow, then I open up all kinds of generic information. Now, all I need from that is a dimmer. And if I open this side caret, I have two different kinds of dimmers. And I just want this first choice that says dimmer bracket one. And I select that and I can say link device, the link device option right up here in the corner. I say link device and it has now moved that. It is mapping an ETC source for junior as a type dimmer. Now, my PAR can is the same way. If I select my ETC source for PAR, it will also map to a dimmer. I just need to make sure that this is highlighted and this is highlighted, and I say link device. Now we have two other fixtures that we need to do, which was our LED that we had drawn and the techno beam moving lights. Let's go ahead and do our techno beams first. I'm going to select that and I am going to close this caret. I no longer need generic. I am now looking for high-end systems. As I scroll down a little bit, I see high-end systems is here. I open this um, caret, and these are all of the fixtures that are made by high-end systems. And we need to scroll down until we find TechnoBeam. 
and I find a techno beam right here. If I open this carrot, there are two operational modes for the techno beam, and I would like to select full, techno beam full bracket 18. Right, so that's a high-end systems techno beam. I have this highlighted, this highlighted, link device, and it moves over into our mapping. We have one last fixture to do, and that's going to be our ETC Luster 2. Now we need to, I'm going to scroll back up to the top. I'm sure there's a faster way. But, um, and I'm going to close my high-end systems, and I'm going to go up until I find ETC. I have three options, ETC architecture, ETC dimming, and ETC fixtures. I want the ETC fixtures menu. So I'm going to open the ETC fixtures menu, and now these are all of the fixtures made by ETC, and they, it goes on for a while. What we are after is an ETC uh, Luster 72. Uh, we should be after a D60, but let's try it. Let's go ahead and put in an ETC. Oh, right, a Luster D60. Hmm, I might be a little confused. Let's try a D60. Let's open a D60 Plus, and we're after a direct strobe number 9, and let's see how that works, and I'll go ahead and I'll say Link Device, and let's see how that works. And at this point, I have mapped all of my fixtures, and I'll say Done. Yes, everything is mapped. Everything should be good here, and I'll say OK. It looks as though my, um, I, I can see some information that is now loaded in my augment file. Um, and if you click on the augmented tab, you should be able to use your mouse wheel to zoom in and out. We could close this structure that's down here by clicking the down arrow, and it'll make our drawing a little bigger. And I'll come back in just a second with how to navigate and to turn on some lights real quick.